Back to school shopping has begun because the kids go back to school, I think, the second week in February. And so I just wanted to get a few items starting now so that I'm not having to get everything all at once. So there's still about three weeks left to school. We won't get the school supply list until February. So I won't know all that I need to buy for them. So this is just the basics. So let me just jump right in. There are some household items included. And then I did get one decorative piece. So you'll see that. So anyway, over here, this is what my daughter picked out. We went to the children's place. And luckily enough, this bag was 40% off. It comes with this cute little poof, which she loves. And it has these like iridescent letters on it. So she loves that. And then she picked out this lunch bag. Um, they don't match, obviously. The children's place did not have a matching lunch bag for that. So this lunch bag we got at Walmart. And then this pencil case is the one she picked out also at Walmart. I picked this up for my four-year-old for him to take to school. Um, it has two compartments, so I think that would be really neat for him to put his snacks and lunch in here. And then it came with a water bottle. And then my nine-year-old, he picked out this backpack. There were so many options for him, and he was just like not feeling anything until he saw this i love this brand um the j world new york brand this is what i bought him last year and it lasted the entire year and the backpack is still in good condition so he got the backpack and the matching lunch bag at walmart and this is the pencil case that he picked out really simple it was like a dollar so that's what he wanted my daughter saw these and we do need some new paint brushes so she picked that up and then each kid got to pick out a special notebook that they wanted so just for now this is the one my daughter picked out for her this really pretty gold one and then this is the one my 17 year old son picked up for him this is one of his favorite games right now and then this is the one my 10 year old picked up for him. This is actually a game my husband's been playing on the PlayStation 4. So for now, they just have the three books. That bag has some uniform items in it. They have some uniforms that are really in good condition from last year. So I only need to get a couple of pieces. So I got a set for my four year old. I will need to go back and get him some more. But for now, just to start off, that's what I got him. And then my nine-year-old son and ten-year-old daughter picked out these pencil sharpeners for school this is the bag my 17 year old son picked out for him he likes you know understated colors and it killed me to pay the price i paid for this bag this bag was almost 50 dollars but i haven't bought him a bag in two years so I figured because I got my daughter's bag on sale and I got my son's bag on sale, this was $10 on sale and her bag was $24 on sale. So I figured since I saved money there, I would just go ahead, bite the bullet and get him the bag he wanted. So that's the bag he picked out. Um, I did see these at Walmart for 7 bucks, so I decided to get them and I wanted to kick myself because I got these at a shoe store earlier in the day before I went to Walmart and these were on sale for $10 but I thought I've been wanting shoes like these they look like Tom's for a while so they're two different colors so I figured I'll just keep them both we needed some hand soap for the bathrooms floss my face soap soap for the showers sanitary pads and this gorgeous piece of art that I'm going to use to decorate in my house because I love, love, love it. And it was only $4, y'all. I couldn't leave the store without it. So I also got that. So that's what I picked up today. All right, so this is the rest of the bags that I got and the shoes for my 10-year-old daughter. These are the ones she picked out. And then for my 17-year-old, these are the shoes he finally settled on. We went to so many different shoe stores and it was so hard for him to get or to pick out shoes that he liked that were comfortable. So these are the ones he finally picked out. He's not in love with them, but um, these are the ones he settled on. 
And then I really wanted to get my four-year-old a backpack. I wanted to get him one that wasn't too small, but most importantly one that would last him this entire year. So um, I picked this one out. I've been looking for a Paw Patrol backpack for him because out of all the characters I saw, I thought this would be the one that he liked the most, which he did. So it was less than $20, but it was a lot more than I would have spent for a preschooler's backpack. But I like it. It has a couple of different compartments, which is nice. And then it has the pockets on the side, which I just put his little water bottle in here that I bought at Walmart. I figure he can carry this every day to school filled with water. And then this is the lunch bag I picked out to go with this. It didn't have a matching lunch bag. I thought this lunch bag went with it the best. And it was really, really inexpensive as well. So I put this in his bag. I also picked up this Paw Patrol pencil case. It's not cloth. It's, it feels like plastic. And this is what I had bought my nine-year-old son. This is what he had picked out as his pencil case. But it's too small. So I'm actually going to give this to my four-year-old. And this one's cloth, which is better quality than the Paw Patrol one. So this will last him a lot longer. And then I got this for my nine-year-old. I just liked this better. I liked the print and it comes with two compartments so it fits a whole lot more. And I just feel like this would be um, better for him to fit everything that he needs for school.